what it is folks what is up youtube gang welcome back to my channel it is your girl the real jc and as y'all can see i got some clothes on we about to go out the house but like i said welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel make sure that you like you comment you subscribe you turn on those post notifications and you get with me because you already know what i'm gonna say we're going with we're going up okay we're going up period point blank and as you can tell i do have my phone in my hand so i do apologize but i'm very so excited to get into this video because i'm finally getting out the house as you can tell he knows i'm about to leave so he's a little anxious but i'm getting out the house i'm about to go hang with my old friend struggle speaks aka e-man we're about to go probably get some food do a little mini vlog or maybe a story time i really don't know i just know that we had planned on collabing for a video and this is it so before we get into he's on his way but before we get into this video you already know what i'm gonna say make sure that you like you comment you subscribe you turn on those post notifications and you get with me because we're only going up from here and by the way let's throw this out here now this is the last time you will see my background in my video for a while because i am going back to school you guys i'm going back to school so you will not see this background anymore well not necessarily anymore but for a while so yeah while i wait for him y'all go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i will catch you when we get when he gets here yeah when i tell you is this a real camera this is clean Wow. Well, I mean, come on, dollar with the clip. Represent, you know, the eight. What are you talking about? But new whip, though. Get the new whip. Don't get the back seat. It's dirty. All right, do you, you. My, my, did you do your. Are hello. You, are you going to introduce yourself? Oh, it's your boy, uh, E Man, E Miz. Don't call me E Miz, but uh, Struggle Speaks if you're really trying to. That's that. All right. I don't know where we're going to go eat, but. We're going to cookout. And if you don't know what you want from there, you're just not eating nothing. Okay, that's fine. That's exactly. Up. She probably won't eat. Go ahead. So we made it back to the um vlog. The hoop de whoop de doop coming through the swoop. That out this hoe. Look at that. Uh, all this rolly ice on my You know what I'm saying? Um Let's pick the line. Left or right. Y'all say in the comments. Y'all gonna see which one we went in. Comment now. So, which side did we pick? <laughs> we did the right side yes sir all the right side uh comment choosers you win love and support yeah yeah because that was gonna come out of his pocket first of all shout out to me oh yeah because we're at the studio yes i'm outside the room i'm outside the room can't you see i'm outside the room yes due to yours truly mr come struggle on, speaks we in the stew and if y'all don't know what this says, let me just go ahead and. You don't have to fix the camera here. Hey, shut up. Okay. Yes, sir. It says choose happy because that's what we say with struggle speaks. You know, always promote that positivity. Yes, sir. All right, now back to the food, my nigga. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. mm -hmm. It's right tight. Uh -huh. Shut up. Are you gonna talk about that? I'm gonna fight you. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> we straight. Yeah. I did that under a minute. All right. Okay, but it's not. But in two ways, we are outside the room. And we about to get into a little story time slash mukbang, you know, get a little more me, less him. But yeah, less less him. But we about to get into story time on how. I took her out of the streets because she was deep in them hoes. Before the streets was a thing, she was in them. And without me, you would still be in them. And Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go off with the story. There we go, continue. That's not what we're going to talk about. I don't know what he talking about. But we're going to talk about how we originally met and how our teacher set us up to go to prom together. It's about to get into the story time. So, but before I do all of that, I just want to show y'all what I got. We got some good old cookout, like okay. we said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That black mean I had to add a little extra. That's all that meant. Look at all them black lines. That mean I got to get the bacon. Okay, go ahead. My bad. Barbecue is my spot. But I got, I got me some barbecue with some hot sauce and coleslaw. Yes. If you not eating with me, you're not eating with me. Okay. Okay. If you not eating your barbecue with hot sauce and coleslaw, you are missing out. You are missing out point blank, period. So I'm gonna need y'all to go try it at your local cookout to my northern folks, to my B more folks. Like, Can I'm you sorry. stop? I'm sorry that y'all don't have a cookout. 
Mm, but they don't have cookout. I'm sorry to the people up north that don't have cookout. Uh, I do so very much so apologize. But when y'all come back down here, if y'all ever come down to Virginia, North Carolina type area, get you shit. some cookout. Get you some cookout with some barbecue with everything on it. And some Cajun fries. Girl, you're not indoors? I wish I was. I you should, should have said give you some random box food because they ain't giving you no money yet. Wait until they cut that check and then throw it like that. That part. Sorry. Let's get into the story time. Right, first of all, I want y'all to know she old as hell. <laughs> just, just putting that well, out there. Okay, okay. Let's clear this up. Let's clear the air right now. You're, I you're am, 27. I am not 27. I'm 16. Oh. Arc. <laughs> just letting you know. You're really gonna sit there and lie to the camera like that. Okay. 25. Okay. I'm 12. Me, <laughs> that nigga old as hell. Listen to me where I talk because he's capping. I am. I am 19 years old. Let's 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 clear it. I am 19 years old, and I will. I am. See, you just lying. It years. can't it can't come out the mouth I'm right. <laughs> I am about to be a junior in college. Mm. And do you want to explain yourself? I might be a freshman. When she met me, though, I was a freshman in high school. Don't do the math. Just know she's having a hard time graduating college. Um, what? <laughs> no. But uh, when she met me, I was probably 16, and she was 21 at the time. I was 17. He's only a year behind. Oh, hold on, hold on. Were you really though? Yes. When you graduated, you. I was 17. Hey, no cap, when I no cap. She was like 17. I was most definitely like 16. He's only a year younger than me. But two years in grade. And she was grade. a senior. I was a sophomore. But as you can't tell, you nigga big as hell. But his birthday held him back. Don't don't try to play him. He's not slow. His oh. birthday held him back. I'm not really worried about that shit. No, I just didn't want people. Your birthday, no, it's not even like my birthday held me back. You be 16 in 10th grade. You don't graduate 17. Your birthday push you forwards. Yes, sir. So, we back. We back in another fucking video. With your boy Struggle Speaks and Janai herself. Um, they don't do it. That's what they call you? That's my YouTube name. I be hearing you say that. <laughs> no, and that is what you be saying. That's my YouTube And if you go around, like, who's she talking about? <laughs> that is what you be saying. All right. He knew me before YouTube, well before YouTube, so that's why he called Before the clout and the fame. I call her uh, LB. You only the real know what I'm saying for um, linebacker. <laughs> Stop playing. Taylor yeah, calls me that because nice. in high school, I did two sports, so I was very much so muscular. Mm -hmm. LB don't even stand for that, though. You just said linebacker. But it don't, though. So what do you stand for? Little body, I don't know. All right. Sure. All right, so... Um, this story is on how we met. Yeah. I ain't even know Shorty. Put it in context. We was going on a field trip. You know, the high school field trips don't really hit like it did back in the day. It was a volunteer thing. It was a volunteer thing. Shout out to Plek, like we said earlier. She invited me and she invited her. But me, being who I am, you know, a big dog and shit like that, I was on the executive board and she was just. First year. The others. Yes. So wow. she was the others and she was all like I was a first year SAG club member, SAG stands for students against destructive decisions. So we used to do a lot of volunteering and a lot of stuff like that. Let's just clear it up. Yes, ma'am. And uh as she went to college, I think she got a little bit destructive, but we ain't gonna judge. Um we was going to the middle school. Shout out Booker T. Neither important. one of us went there though. Neither one so we show up to the little room, everybody got their shirts on wearing the you know what I'm saying, the drip. She gonna show up with the basic clothes on. So Captain Saberho had it, you know what I'm saying? Right Did y'all smell it? Did y'all smell the pee? Okay, so the Captain Saberho had to come in and I was I'm like, not up, so you saved me. All right, Captain Saber, female, queen, black princess. All right, <laughs> all right, so I had a swoop in. I had two shirts just because I brought two shirts. I gave her, I think the shirt off my back. No, you did not. You had the white shirt on. No, I had to put the white shirt on. I wore the small white shirt. Remember, the shirts were small. Yeah. Did I give you more? Because I rock paper scissors. We tried to rock paper scissors for the last one. Or which one we were? Damn, one of For the white one. Nasty. All right. We, we we rock paper scissors for the last shirt because there's only a certain amount of shirts you can get. But I got mine though. So you what? didn't rock paper scissors with me. You did it with someone else and lost. Yeah, I lost. I lost. You lost. You she lost against someone else, so she didn't get no shirt. She had no shirt, and I'm exec boy, so you know I had first dibs on the shirt. So I got me a shirt, and I had my sad shirt, and I was like, you know what? Help the needy. So I slid. Her a shirt. I didn't even know her name. No cat. You, you know what? She didn't even know my name. But I was willing to give the shirt off my back for. Can I get some teardrops in the comments for that? No. <laughs> All right, forget that. <laughs> All right, damn. So I gave her the shirt, 
And it was just like that. A nigga was real like chilling, so I didn't even talk to her after that. We really didn't talk after that. We didn't, we didn't talk. talk till we got until lunchtime at the school. So we put on a whole like pep rally and all that shit. For the kids, for the kids. We do everything for the kids. I'm very much so volunteers. Yeah. So we did that shit. Uh what happened? Okay, so it was lunchtime. Lunchtime, they did us right. We had pizza, chips, drinks, and all that shit. So I said, let me find this shorty who got my clothes on so she know that she gotta get that back before she go. So I pulled I... She didn't. <laughs> I just realized that. Not. Two years later, I want y'all to know this was when I was a sophomore. It's my freshman year. She probably gave it back before she graduated. No, that's, that's cat. When did you give it back? Bro? I gave it back when you needed it. I gave it back that same year. I said before you graduated. But it was when you actually needed it that I gave it back. My nigga, we was taking pictures in that hoe. And it was very disrespectful. Um, It's lunchtime. I'm going to give it back. It's lunchtime. It's probably around spring because I feel like your prom was about to come up. Yeah. So, it's Jani like Jani January. January. No, it was March. It was March. Janai over here crying wolf to the group while we having lunch. She like, yo, I'm gonna prom day. I just don't know who I'll go with. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. And my ass is just sitting there like. Hold on, pause. My fuck is the white pause. Oh, you over here. Let me let me clear the air. I won't cry wolf about no prom day, so I was gonna go by myself if I had to. But I was talking to Miss. I was talking to good old Plex. Like. <laughs> talking to good old Plex. And she was like, well, what, who you want for a prom day? I said, at least somebody that can drive. Somebody, because I don't want to drive. I'm, I'm not driving on prom night. That's 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 it. What it is? I can't drive in heels. Shout out to the females that can drive in heels, but that won't be. So I say I'll go by myself as long as I get dropped off or something like that. I'm not driving in heels. Drop the requirements, bro, so we can know how you picked for you. And I you said did. I'm wearing yellow. I said I'm wearing yellow. So whoever want to wear yellow, they can come with me. All my uh, power to you. Just know this is the color I will be wearing. So we gotta drive. They can wear yellow. Yeah. I think you said something about them, them having to be fine as hell. Something, something about them having to be taller than you. Yeah. You're 4'11". Yeah, so. Y'all, at the time, I was 4'11". You cannot be my height. At the time. I'm 5'9". So <laughs> <I'm playing with laughs> I'm growing 18. So right. But at the time, I was 4'11". So I'm like, and I'm going to have heels on. So I said, yeah, you got to be taller than me. Like, that wasn't even a requirement because a lot of people are taller than me as it is. So that's not even a requirement. So y'all hear the requirements of, uh, you can't tell already, obviously your boy was the perfect person for it, but I was too damn scary. I was too busy sitting back while she was eating her food and talking about it. Like, I was just like, damn, that shit sound like me. But uh, I ain't make no moves. So tell her like who made the move for us, so. Um, Plague made the move. Plague made the move. <laughs> Plague. Plague made the move. Smoothest thing she ever did for cause, oh my. She said, why don't you go eat it? And I, I'm over here probably like eating a chip, mid chip, but I'm like. And I said, yeah, I and at the time, I did, like I said, I didn't know his name. Like we literally just met. You missed. At the time we had just met, I didn't know his name, so I'm like, who? The nigga who you shirt you got on. That's what it was. The person who gave you the clothes off his back. Why don't you go with him? Hell no! Hell no! You're not gonna cap on me. Like, like you said, nah, I guess I'll go with him. No, she was like, "Oh, sure. Do you are you okay with wearing this color?" And then she like got my phone number and everything. Like, Shorty was hype. Let's not even He's explain. So Let's not even explain the fact that as soon as she knew she was going with me, she was all on me. Oh my god! So look, before she found out that Plex said go with me, she was like sitting by herself. Plex said you should go with him. She done moved over next to Cuz. She started leaning on me and shit. He's cat. He's very much okay. Why are you whispering? He's Look, cat. I'm okay, not capping, bro. I can speak up. Bro, you, he yeah, was on cat. Okay, you think I was on cat. you? Yes. I'm too big to be on you. Think about that. You found a way. Hell no, bro. So, show you, uh, found a date. Obviously, it's me. So, um, she... On the way on the bus ride home, we started talking up, talking it up. Shorty really started leaning on me and stuff and really like feeling me. Well, she wasn't feeling me. Niggas who do private in public, that's nasty. So we most definitely was just cooling. But she was real close though. I think she went to my Skype and my uh my Facebook at least. Cause Shorty was all up on me. But yeah, so that's how that happened. Most definitely how we met. But um all that shit in between, just know we went to prom. That was a fun night. I can't say that.
can, can I can dance and she can uh follow me as I dance, but she can't really dance. <laughs> Alright y'all. <laughs> so so I left out a little bit. I gotta tell y'all this part. Oh, that was so bad. So me, oh, wow. I'm I'm five eleven. She was four eleven. Yeah. She never asked me how old I was or what grade I was in. I did not. I just assumed that he was at least a year younger than me, like a like a school year wise. I knew he was a year younger. Like if I was a senior a senior, he was a junior. Yeah, but did you think I was a senior at all? No. Okay, because you. Was at least a junior. Okay, I got you. I got you. So when Blake put put her on to me, she said I need to at least be a junior, bro. I was not a junior. I was a whole sophomore, and by this time we already figured out what we was wearing. I think we. I regret. I'm, okay, I did regret that a little bit, but but wow. but. So like, no, I still win. But I was like, but you still went. It's just that Whole after time. I found out he was a sophomore, I was like, you gonna look like a fool. <laughs> you took a sophomore. To prom. I'm, I'm taking a sophomore to prom. Like, what is what is this? But actually, looking back on it now, I'm glad that I did take him because he didn't have a prom due to Corona. So yeah, so I'm glad he did get to it. enjoy at least a prom. But yeah, for sure that I thought you were gonna say that you was glad I went because I look good. No, I made you. Look. I look good. Though. I made you look I good. Look good. I'm gonna drop some. I'm gonna put some pictures in here on how great. Y'all comment below who made who. I looked. Y'all gonna y'all gonna good. boost her because y'all always boost the girl. But just know. I look good. I look good too. I was probably like top five looking guys at that jump. And it was 2000. It was 2018 prom. And I was the only top person 10. wearing top ten. Me and this other girl. We were the only two wearing yellow. And I'm sorry to say, but I think I wore it better. Yeah, I'm a mama. I don't even know who she's talking about, but I said she wore it better. She had like this lace joint, the shoulder legs. I got nervous, but. Yeah, my legs was poking y'all. Okay, dude, this is how she found out what grade I was in because she met me in the hallway trying to do some freaks right now. She met me in the hallway just trying to talk to me about some prom stuff before we went home, before she went home. Yeah, I got, it's the first one, I mean, I plan a lot. And I, and I got on the bus. So she was like, what you doing on, on this hallway? And I was like, coming from English. She said like the only English teacher on this hallway is her and she's a 10th grade English teacher. And I was like, yeah, that's my teacher. She said, what? I, <laughs> I was like, oh, so you still don't know how old I am. <laughs> I, was, I said, this man my is a sophomore. Yeah, I was a whole sophomore. And I looked at her face, I was like, is she about to say, I can't go no more? Because I'm not going for it. The she, nice person in you. No, hell no. The nice in person. In her eyes, you didn't have, you had no going back in your face. You were like, mm, well, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was just like it was already planned. It was detailed. Prom was literally like a month away. We here. We here with it. Like, but hold on, cause you did say don't tell nobody. Did you? Did you not us that you're a sophomore? He told me that shit. He was like, don't let nobody know you're a sophomore. I was like, they should already know. That shit was really funny. That that was crazy. I will genuinely say that I really thought he was a junior. Um, I mean, it still works. It still works. We still did the dad on thing. So I'm not even mad at it. I had a good time. We had a good night. I did not drive at all. He took me to get food after. We went to after prom. Stunned at after prom too. So yeah. And we got the end story right there because uh, y'all not old enough. With that being said, we're gonna close this video out because I'm ready to eat. I can't talk and eat. And so we're about to get into best food. I will see you the next time. Oh yeah, and y'all gonna tune into my video. Tune I'm into his podcast. You're dropping us tomorrow. I don't know. Whenever she drops hers, I'll drop mine. And y'all just watch them. So Tune into his podcast, Struggle Speaks, aka P Man. I got with me right here. And this is our story time slash mukbang, even though we didn't really eat, we just mainly talked. We got some better stories though. So if y'all like this, well, we can tell you the story. Because yeah, I've known this man for a while. So he got a couple stories to tell. Oh, we can tell you some stories. It's like, nah, oh, but my mama. with that being said, make sure that you like, you comment, you subscribe, you turn on those post notifications, you check out his podcast, and I will see you the next time. So I love you guys, and I will see you again. Peace to the Middle East. Bye.